Hello, everybody. Welcome. Part 10. Um, we just came out of uh, some crate, some shipping container. Now we're going to investigate the warehouse or facility or whatever it is. Oh, I think we're in a boat. Yeah, we're definitely on a boat. We are definitely on a boat. That's an Aloha or an Aloan. Called it. Alolan. This is the same Ratata as before. Ratata. Let's see what's going on. Let's be careful, Tim. Okay? Yeah. Huh? <coughs> what's this? So we're on a cruise ship. Is it some kind of resort? Uh, can't be. A resort in the middle of the sea? I guess so. What else could it be? Uh, this is what's called a luxury cruise ship. Well, that's a turn of events. You think they're... Using a cruise ship to smuggle stuff? <clears throat> this is no good. If so, we need to find Keith and quickly. Right. Hey, Tim. Fru? Hmm, huh, interesting. Huh? Interesting. Oh, 
Oh my god, wow. She just called me a pleb. to me. Why won't he talk to me? We must be on the very aft of the boat. Why won't talk to me? How dare they? How dare they? Maybe I'm too much of a pleb or something. This is impressive. Everything is super luxurious. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Something's going on here. Crocker, Crocker, Crocker. Crocker rock guards are trouble. But if the lounge is where R went, then that's the room we need to investigate. So you and I need to find a way in. Karak! Krak! Kraka, Kraka, Kraka. Okay, okay, we can do this. Start investigating. Hey, Tim. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Amelia. What are you doing here? I'm here for work. Apparently, watching the parade from this ship is popular among celebrities. But what brought you guys here? We're still on the trail of Keith. The clues led us here. Huh? But what would Keith have to do with this cruise? 
Well, we don't know for sure, but he must be on the ship at least. We do know that he's smuggling R. Oh no! If that stuff gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster! You've gotta let me help you find Keith, alright? I appreciate that, but, uh... I can help you gather information, since I'm a reporter. <sighs> Maybe she's right. Yeah, we could probably use her help. Pikachu! I'd rather not get her involved in this either, but we could use some help. Okay. We're counting on you, Amelia. <laughs> so reckless. clue we have so far is the show that's supposed to be held in that room. Let's find out more about it. Hey, Tim! Tim! Hey, Tim! Tim! So, uh, let's ask some people. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, that guy knows nothing. No help. Mm 
Interesting. Maybe it's a front. Hey, Tim. Who would have thought that we'd run into Amelia on this ship? You know what? That's called destiny. Come on, don't act so nonchalant. You're enjoying this, I know. Don't worry, I understand. Okay, Pikachu. Whatever floats your boat. Something just doesn't add up.
literally doesn't make any sense. Just a sneaky, sneaky snake. Why does Chinchino keep looking at me? Is there something stuck on me? This room. Excuse me, hello? Is everything okay? I'm sorry about that. Oh a man, this is another side quest. Bag. Sorry to make such a scene, but it frightened me. Huh? Could I ask you to take a look? Yes, of course. Looking. Maybe it's some sort of prank. My poor Snubble was quite frightened as well. Is it really that scared? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> poor thing. Knock it off, Pikachu. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I guess it really was scared. This is a real mystery. Which means, a job for us. Yes? Go see the captain. The Henri brothers were truly brilliant, 
Their meals were loved by Pokemon and people. Between you and me, I'm close to recreating one of their recipes. You mean the famous lost recipe? How is that possible? <laughs> That's a trade secret. I figured as much. That's it for the interview. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, anytime. Especially if you're doing the interview. Oh, my goodness. There you are, Captain Eckhart. Hmm? Well, hello there, Miss Rose. How can I help you? This may sound odd, but I'm afraid my bag has been swapped with someone else's. Look at this. I don't recognize any of the contents. I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll look into it. I really appreciate it. Tim, hello. Hmm, another mystery for you? No, not really. You know, I think I've seen this mask on the news. They said that it was stolen. What? Stolen? Impossible. <sighs> There's an awful lot of strange things going on on this ship. What's going on with this video game? make any sense okay Yes. How could something like that be kept under wraps on a cruise ship for so long? Like somebody would have so like that doesn't make any sense. Thank you. 
spot. Hey, Tim! Tim! Tim, Tim. No. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of running around to do. I can already uh, see that now. So I guess it really does always face north. Okay, mm-hmm. Go talk that sus suspicious frill. Sorry, buddy. He didn't seem too happy about that.
Huh? Oh, lied to my face. We are on to you. Let's do some dedu some deducing. If we place an order with the Frillish on the second floor, it'll bring us a book, apparently. So there's uh, gotta be some secret in how we place an order. Umbrellas and I don't and suppose you chairs. found any hints on that note, did you? Now why do you think that? Oh, yeah. You're right. She was the one who got the book. She was super busy counting something. What was it? Now I remember. The umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. The number of umbrellas and the chairs. That's two different numbers. Can you think of anything related to this? Get it. Here's the explanation. The two numbers stand for the number of teas and sugar cubes we order from Frillish. Yeah, at least that mystery is solved. Let's go place our order. Okay, so there's six umbrellas. 
And seven chairs. Six umbrellas, seven yellow chairs. But six and then seven. Fruit? Bam. Dude, this is a very intense and deep storied game. Holy cow. It looks like there's no show in that room. It's a secret auction where they sell everything, even stolen goods. So now I'm curious if Keith is planning on attending. Captain. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Tim. Is there uh. a problem? Uh. Oh, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment, and it disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nosepass. Nobody else came in. What could have happened? Hmm. Let's ask Nosepass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nosepass. No, Nosepass. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? Nosepass. You say that's the truth, huh? Hmm. So it's a closed room robbery. This should be very interesting. Oh my gosh. So now the mask has gone missing too. Let's see if we can find any trace of it in the room.
Oopsies. Oh. Hey, Tim. Well, that's no fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this game is literally just running around. That's all it is. Just run here, run there, ask someone a question, run back the way you just came. I think Snubble would just be able to sniff out her snoop suitcase.
What is it? What? <laughs> I didn't know bubbles were that strong. Pokemon water drops at the bridge Of course I got it. What are you thinking Pikachu? <laughs> a bolt of brilliance yeah. Tim I figured it out It's important we figure out how the invisible Pokemon committed the crime. We got Is this. We can figure it out. there testimony that tells us when it got onto the bridge? That's it. The invisible Pokemon fell into the pool. And then, it came in with a crew member while it was still wet. Got that? That's why the floor was wet when the crew member left. Now we need to figure out how it stole the mask. After the mask disappeared, was there testimony that helps us figure out how? Right! Somehow a drink disappeared. That must have been caused by the invisible Pokemon, too. <laughs> I'll bet that anything that Pokemon puts in its mouth becomes invisible. Which means, the mask is in its mouth. Uh, 
as I said, running around. Everyone, I have solved the mystery. Haha, <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Tim. Please tell us who's behind this. Right. You got this. You know who did it. The one responsible for the missing item is a certain Pokemon. Pokemon? But how? The captain assured us that he didn't see anything. Right. Nothing suspicious entered or left the room. I'm afraid that you must be mistaken. No. I'm not mistaken at all. I'll tell you exactly how it went down. This specific Pokémon can make itself invisible, so the captain didn't see it. It snuck into the room with the captain and Nosepass and committed the crime while they were distracted. Then... what happened to my bag? The culprit still has your bag, too. And is here in this room, as part of this group. And so is the mysterious Pokémon. Tim, look carefully. You see it, right? I'll tell you the culprit. You, Gino! What?! Is this a joke? I don't know any mysterious Pokémon. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you do. It's Kecleon, and it's right beside you. Uh, boo. Yeah! Oh, the mask! Is this some kind of joke? I don't know this Pokémon. And what is the mask doing here? Still trying to play innocent, aren't you? Tell him what we know, Tim. Gino. You boarded this ship for a reason. Ooh, we you got you, buddy. Goal, isn't that right? Bang, bang, gotcha. I don't gotcha. know what you mean. I came for a vacation, not to achieve a goal. You sure about that? I think the reason you're here is for the secret auction. A secret auction? What are you talking about? Right here's the proof. A list of all the items offered. It has the Henri Brothers recipe book. Coincidence? This is what you really wanted, isn't it? Do you remember what you said earlier? You were close to recreating the recipes of the Henri brothers? Recipes that were lost forever? That was a lie. You were counting on getting the recipe book, weren't you? <sighs> what was I supposed to do, huh? I ran out of ideas for new menus. I need to amaze my customers. And that's a lot of pressure, all right? Do you know why? You were oh a genius chef. I never oh expected you to do something like this. No matter how talented you are, how you'll get rusty you. if you stop trying to improve. Back to washing dishes for you. So Gino was the culprit, huh? All right, I guess that case is closed. I didn't expect there to be a secret auction on this ship. I doubt I could get in, wearing a hoodie. You know what? I'll go investigate. I brought a dress for conducting the interviews. What? I can't let you go alone. It's too dangerous. Don't worry about me. I'm used to getting scoops. I don't know. Hmm. If only we could get past the dress code. It sounds like it's a suit you need. Maybe my husband's jacket would work for you? Are you sure? But it must be very special to you. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help you out. That's so nice of you. Lucky you, Tim.
<laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready to go. Wow. Looking good, Amelia. Tim, look. Uh, 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 you look really great, Amelia. Thanks, Tim. You look pretty sharp, too. That's nice to hear, <laughs> huh? Sharp. The he suit's more sharp. classy than you are, but hey. Oh, you're a very handsome young man. Oh, oh yes, Pikachu, this is for you. Huh? What's that? Ooh. Pikachu, a tie. Miss Rose, thank you so much. It's a bow tie, not a tie. You snub. What's wrong? Okay. <laughs> well, what do you think? Who's the classy one now? <sighs> I hope that bow tie isn't too tight for him. No problem. It's all in the name of fashion. Crocker, huh? Crocker, Crocker. <sighs> oh, what's up? Is there some kind of problem? Croc, Croc, Crocker, Crocker, Crocker. What are you talking about? Why would you say I look shady? It's not true. You're very rude. Croc. Goons wouldn't know style if it hit him over the head. Tim, show him our tickets. Hmm. Here you are. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, very good. Please put these on once you're inside. Kara, 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 Kara. It looks like Keith hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, no sign of a guy with a ponytail. What's with the bizarre atmosphere of this place anyway? Tim, over here. Wait up, Pikachu. Amelia, be careful, all right? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anyone suspicious. Thanks. All right. Well, at least these masks should keep our identities somewhat hidden. We're coming for you, Keith. Soon. Hey, Tim.
<laughs> I'm bidding on items. Cool. To you, Korok, 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 Korok. Kraka, 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 Kraka. Kraka, Kraka. Kraka, Kraka, Kraka. Kraka, Kraka, Kraka. Kraka, Kraka, Kraka. Huh. Kraka, Kraka. Odd. Who are these people? Oh, that's kind of cool that like real time sort of events that happened in the past affect the future. Well, not really affect the future, but you know, working with them, saving the violin and then hearing about it again later on. Huh. 
Korok. Korok. What's up? Ugh, it's Korok. fine. Let's ask some more questions about R. No, you know what? Never mind. Let's What's just start. Up? Yes. Now let the bidding begin. More bidders? There is still time to bid. Any more bidders? There's not much time left. Because I'm pretty Any sure you only bidders? have 50 million. Item is now sold. Yeah, boy, it's mine. Thank you all for your participation. The auction is over. Gosh, really? Now let the bidding begin. Any more bidders? There is still time to bid. Any more bidders? There's not much time left. Oh, I probably should have gone.
Damn. Any more bitters? Item is now sold. Thank you all for your participation. The auction is over. Pretty sure I lost that one. Tim, you won the bid. I'm so excited for you. It looks like Keith will be the next one up. Just remain cool. I'm sure you know who I am. The great detective, Pikachu! Mm. How did you like that? Pretty awesome, wouldn't you say? <laughs> hey guys, I think we're gonna cut it there. So we still have some more... Um good footage and stuff to get hope you guys enjoyed that episode i had a fun time running around on a little cruise ship not so much but you know if you guys want to stay up to date with our videos and uh more content hit that like and subscribe button we try to we try to do at least a video once a week i'm trying to do more now actually yeah we'll see you in the next one peace out bye